Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday about 11 minutes after 10. I'm on my way down to visit my friend Carol. She called me a little while ago. Um, you know, I'm her uh, connection with what's going on in the park because she has always attended meetings in the past and been involved, but because of her broken hip, she has not been able to do that. So, um, I'm going to go down there and fill her in on what's been going on and what our next um, HOA meeting is going to be about the agenda. And um, I could totally sleep through the June gloom. Oh my gosh, y'all. And you know what? Oh, you see these earrings? One of my sweet little neighbors saw those, and they made her think of me. Now, I could never wear anything this big, except they are light as a feather. So, oh, I should have worn my hair up, huh? I'm trying to let it dry. I just got out of the shower. But, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I could totally sleep through the June Balloon. So, I'm hoping to hear some suggestions from y'all on my, um, <clears throat> not bare yard, but bare compared to what it was before. Now, my thought is, these are just what, what I've been thinking. Of course, I'd like to have the little potting bench in the back. Something kind of cute, you know, like a bench and then maybe a shelf above it. I even saw one one time with a deep metal basin, uh, a hole cut in it and a basin in there so you can mix up your potting soil. Oh, that would be so awesome. Then in the back corner of my fence on the inside, maybe a little uh, stacking of two or three blocks. Um, a couple more of the big black pots uh, that my boogie is in so I can consolidate and um, maybe plant some little flowers that hang over the sides. Um, alyssum is good for that. In fact, I have a package of alyssum seeds, if I'm saying that correctly. And then you uh, have a, you know, a shorter layer, and then you build up until you have a little bit taller layer. So I was thinking of a couple of more of those to put somewhere. You know, I can't really landscape this front yard until they fix my drainage problem, which you'll no telling when that'll be. But, um... When my ground cover grows in, and they said six, seven months, it just depends, um, then that's going to be solid green, and it'll almost look like grass. I don't know where to put my uh, sweet pea. Now, maybe I should put that in the back corner on the inside of the fence, you guys let me know what you think. Um, I kind of uh, go over the top. Y'all know that with the pink and the cutesy. I don't know. It just kind of makes me happy. But I don't want to get too out of control. I'm never going to be a sophisticated woman. I really don't even want to. Except. When I see ladies and they've got their hair cut short and it's kind of fixed, not like a helmet like you see on the news ladies, but, you know, kind of fixed and, and they have their makeup on and they just look sophisticated. I've always wanted to look like that. But you know what? I've come to terms with myself a long time ago. I am who I am. And I couldn't be anybody else. So, um, but, but I really do, before I want to do 
anything else in my yard, I want to get some of y'all's suggestions. So, um, I'm getting used to parking in the boundary lines. And um, eventually, when they redo all our streets and everything, all of the red fire lane uh, things will be... Um, you know, clear and designated and easy to see. <clears throat> what else, y'all? Hmm. Oh, Miss Hazel, she's already over here in her little bed. Y'all, she must be feeling a little bit letter better, but I still see her doing weird things with that one back leg. But she was so excited to come out. She was actually trying to jump up into the van. She hasn't done that. And I can't remember when. Now, I must say, y'all. This is kind of weird to say. But our van has been used as a truck. For over, well, for at least a year. Okay? So... When I've taken it to the car wash, they just vacuum the front a little bit, slap a rag over it. But yesterday, I vacuumed every crack and crevice. I scrubbed my floor mats. I wiped and vacuumed everything down on the inside. Um, <clears throat> now the outside needs some serious attention. So, anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. You would not know that it was almost 1030 in the morning. It's like 530 or 6 a.m. That's the way it looks. But anyway, I'm going to get on over to Carol's. And um, I keep saying this, y'all, but I still have a little bit left to do in that backyard. And I think the reason... Well, besides, you know, the HOA involvement, things like that, is that that ground back there in that last stretch is hard as concrete. And I have to shovel that up and, you know, break it up with my shovel and uh, level it, try to level it a little bit. And then I have to sift it before I can plant anything. But that's got to get done, you guys. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, I'm going to find the time to do it. Um, so anyway, visiting with Carol is my fun thing to do today. Little tip for you, which we all know, do not go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Not a good idea. But I do have some food in the cottage. <laughs> and I found the easiest way to get Hazel to take her medication. Yeah. Cover it with a little sausage. She does. I mean, that girl does not chew anything. She gulps it down. Anyway, y'all gotta go. Um, and you never know. I may talk to y'all again today. Bye now.